Scorpio so what's going on baby it is your girl Alex and we are here for another episode of the as Scorpio stinger goes around on this week's episode we will be concentrating on your head and your heart hey guys it's Alex acting a fool before I even get these cards on the table but I've been thinking about you guys all week and I want to give the biggest shout out to all of my Scorpios who have booked readings with me this past week. I have absolutely loved reading for you. You guys taught me so much. You have rekindled and reinitiated my power and strength. And I want you to know I love you all. And that goes for all of you, not just the people who booked readings with me recently. Okay. This reading, Scorpio, I want to dig into your pockets now. I want to look into your heart, babies, okay? Because I, I was meditating and I thought about something. I said, you know what? If Scorpio's head is out of order, it, it is only because their heart is inactive. Lord, the universe then showed up. I ain't even shut my mouth. And the universe is like, y'all... That's right, Alex. Scorpio needs some TLC. Scorpio needs some love. Scorpio needs some dugging out. All right. So we're going to see what we have here. All right, angels, let's keep the shenanigans to a minimum. We have, I see you have shown up with the hearts or the cups and the pentacles. Thank you so much. And there's Scorpio big head, right? Thoughts are running rampant, Scorpio. And it's okay, Kaboo Boo. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, hey, y'all. You guys have just, oh my God, you have just, I see the comments. I see you out there supporting each other. And Scorpio, let's keep it going. We family, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just picturing a bunch of Scorpios together and all these stingers just up in the air. Just, <laughs> all right. Get your sit shit together, Alex. Come on. All right, God. How you doing, boo-boo? Oh, yes. Look at... Mm. Y'all notice I'm talking to y'all and I'm just letting these cards do what they're doing. And, and Lord, God is showing up for you, Scorpio. All right. You know what? I love this. I love this. Now ask me why. Why, Alex? Why you love that? Because, Scorpio, this hang hanged man or woman represents being out of alignment, out of balance, out of perspective, lopsided, just off kilter, right? But the five of wands says, listen, I ain't going out like that. I'm going to get my shit together at some point, Alex. Okay. We don't die, we multiply. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you got the Knight of Swords with the Lovers, Scorpio. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is you guys like arguing and yelling with the yelling at the universe. Like, come on already. Send me my person. Um, not only that, but Scorpio, as I turn these cards and look at them, this is love just raging in. By the way, like, I feel like, first of all, my mother used to use this word conk as in conk you over the head, as in, I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you're about to be blindsided with some sort of reconnection. And I have to be careful with you, Scorpio, because I know y'all don't like bitches from the past, but this reconnection is realistically reconnection with your heart. And by the way, Scorpio, again, as I, you know, jokingly said a little while ago, that's really your issue with being in your head so much. You are out of balance. You are on your logical side and you trying to figure out how to get off your logical side. Well, baby, you cannot, what is it? Albert Einstein says you cannot solve a problem with the very mind that created it. So in other words, Scorpio, you trying to dig yourself out mentally using your mentality. Well, baby, here it is. Y'all going about it all the wrong way, right? 
Y'all need some TLC and some love. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> One third of the Scorpios already cut the video off. Talk about um, um, coins, Alex, coins. No, the, the lover's card represents love and loving and loving things. And that just means Scorpio, reconnect your heart to something, right? You guys have spent so much time on your mental, in your mental space that y'all have starved your hearts. Okay. So this lover's card is about a choice. Now your choice is, it's going to stay up in, in your big head. It's all dry. The sun ain't even shining up there. It's so dark, right? Or you can come out of that mental space and move back into your heart space and start and allow your heart to vibrate, open up and connect to people. Now watch this. A lot of you guys have connected even in the comments, right? You guys, we got to get you guys out of this notion that anytime your heart is active, it is only in love and relationships. No man, no man. Okay. When your heart is active, that's just it. It's active. I keep hitting my tripod. When your heart is active, it just means it's open to connect to anything right? A childhood dream, um, a hobby, uh, a wish that you had, you know, when you said, okay, when I get my house, I'm going to take a trip to, to, you know, I don't freaking know to uh diamond park. You know, they have that diamond crater or that crater park in, um, Arkansas, right? This to me feels like a wish fulfilled, now, this is not, I'm not necessarily saying that this card is representing a wish will be fulfilled. I'm saying that this card is representing you need to fulfill the wish that you promised yourself before X, Y, Z happened. And angels again are, are harping again or dwelling or going back to the mental space, mental space, mental space. As in, you guys are thinking about everybody else, every other scenario under the sun and the only person you ain't thinking about, not the greatest English, but <laughs> the only thing you're not thinking about, Scorpio, is yourself. Okay? Is yourself, your connection with your family, with animals, with earth, with nature, with your hobbies, with joy, with the things that make your heart sing. Right? Scorpio, this is your remedy, by the way. A lot of you guys, I, I promise you, I read the comments. Can't sleep at night. Can't do this, Alice. Can't do that, Alice. Can't. Baby, that's because your heart is inactive. And up until now, you thought that your heart is only activated for love and loving relationships. You couldn't be more wrong, Scorpio. And I am happy to tell you that. You know what this is? Guess. This is the return. Once you reactivate your heart, there's your balance, right? Queen of Pentacles, Her Majesty. She is so smart and level-headed and balanced. Don't get it twisted, Scorpio. This Queen of Pentacles is incredibly loving, right? But she distributes love intelligently, right? As in, you know how certain, how mothers can tell if their babies are crying because they're hungry, hurt, or just in a bad mood, a baby in a bad mood, right? Like she is keen and understands what love is needed and when. Not only that, she is so damn strong and trustworthy. She knows when to, she knows when to love, she knows when not to love. She right? She's holding that coin. That coin represents her value, right? She is bringing value to the table. Well, Scorpio when you open your heart, when you return back to that beautiful, childlike, unconditional love that only Scorpio knows how to give, that's what balances you out. You get your mojo back, baby. All right. And look, seven of, seven of pentacles. Y'all know this is analysis paralysis, right? But coupled with the ace of hearts, baby, when that heart, when y'all... You, any of y'all ever feel your heart like glow and you're like, what's that? I, I need to go to the doctor. Something wrong down there. Scorpio, that's a bad thing. And it's only a bad thing because you don't recognize your damn heart in your chest when it's happy. 
So this is kind of saying, hey, how about you explore your heart with the same kind of energy that you've been you've been using in your big head? Scorpio. Ooh, wait a minute, Jesus. I didn't expect that. Whoa. Right? Because a lot of you guys, again, Scorpio, you will figure out how to cure world hunger in 2.3 seconds. Figuring out how to open your heart and be safe and just be happy and joyful and wonderful. It'll take y'all eight lifetimes, right? Eight lifetimes. Because you're so afraid of your heart, you're so afraid of your, your emotions, you understand and for you to be in that heart space feels like your guards are all the way down. And Scorpio, as protective as you are, Stinger Nation, right? You, we don't do guards down. We don't do guards down. Uh-uh, God, we not, mm-mm. I'm sorry, go grab a, an Aries or a Libra or somebody because I ain't letting my guards down. And Scorpio, therein lies the problem, right? Because to an extent, your mind is in control of the guards, right? It's the drawbridge, if you will, or the bridge that goes up and down, right? But if your mind says, keep that bitch down, or excuse me, keep those guards up, your guards are going to stay up and your heart is like, but what about me? Your head is like, listen, not today. Uh -uh, I'm sorry, right? So Scorpio, for you guys, okay? If you're struggling again with being in your head, overthinking, overanalyzing, not being able to sleep because you're overanalyzing, try doing something with your heart. Try doing something to activate your heart. Try doing something to open your heart, okay? Not only that, but you see with that Ace of Cups, new love, rekindling, opening of the heart, love overflowing. It balances you out, right? Things start to the wheels start spinning normally again. There is no screeching, no more of the halting, no more of the smoke and smell of fire because you'd have been burning them for so long. That rebalances you and it, it, it um, brings you back into alignment. And again, we started the reading with Alex, I need to do something. That's what this five of wands is. It's like, listen, I've been going back and forth. I've been trying to do this. I've been trying. Scorpio, you've been trying to do everything under Pluto except for activating your heart. It was almost like the answer was right up under your nose. Mm Mm-hmm. Between your breastplates, baby. Okay. And you did everything under the sun again, except for what was right there in front of you. Now, the three of pentacles and the nine of um, cups, Scorpio... Let's have a come to Jesus moment because I know a lot of y'all, you know, have your reservations about being around people, but the three of pentacles for me with you, Scorpio says like-minded people. Okay. And I promise you guys, I'm going to start some sort of, some sort of Scorpio something so we can get together on a regular basis and just be freaking Scorpio. We could be all Scorpionic all the time. Okay, because I feel like amongst like minded people, you feel happy and safe and protected. Here's the dumbest shit in the world about Scorpio. And and I love it to death. Y'all feel more comfortable around another Scorpio with the same stinger than you do with any other sign. Okay. All right, we need a minute. I need a minute. Hold on. All right. That that's crazy, but I get it completely. And I'm exactly the same. I'm like, okay, you're a Scorpio. Hey, boo. Right? You could put you could shake my hand with your sting. It's like, hey, stinger, baby. Right? And and realistically, the reason why there is this great comfort is because we we it's an understanding, right? <laughs> like, you know what my stinger is about, and I know what your stinger is about. There's no guessing. So it's almost like you, that person is automatically coming to the table, putting their stuff all on the table, right then and there, there are no secrets. We already know who each other are. We already know who each other are, what each other are about. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, when it comes to connecting with people, if this means connecting with people, if that means connecting with people, it has to be like-minded people. Okay. 
Now you guys know, like I know, there are different generations of Scorpio. You have the Scorpion, right? Who's true Scorpio, okay? Then you have the Phoenix, then you have the Eagle, then you have the Serpent. Like there are different um, variations or different, yeah, um, I can't think of the word right now, but different versions, thank you, of Scorpio. So yeah, that's just a little disclaimer in that, yeah, you know, just because they are a Scorpio, they have a stinger. You don't know if they're a passive Scorpio. You don't know if they're an aggressive Scorpio. You don't know if they're a cusper, right? So, but at the end of the day, I think because I'm Scorpio is Scorpio, you're still going to show them love, right? So that's just kind of a little disclaimer in that, yeah, you know, these are our people where we're all kind of the same, but to an extent, we're all vibrating differently. Okay. And I don't want to make it seem like that's a bad thing, but it is something to note. Okay. Now you got the 10 of pentacles and the page of wands. <laughs> I just, y'all just hit the jackpot. I just gave y'all the jackpot. I just gave y'all the lotto numbers, by the way. This is what this says to me. This is an excitement. It's like, oh shit, Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I felt like somebody actually said that, but I feel like, um, this is crazy because I'm hearing the word. You need to be selfish with your energy and only give it to your kind. Now I will tell you, Scorpio, that directly goes against the universe, right? Because to an extent, we're supposed to give to everybody across the board or everybody in need or people you feel drawn to giving, whatever that is, right? Whatever that rule is. So I don't want you guys to be in a mindset, in a selfish mindset as in, oh, you a cancer? Nah, fuck that. That's not what I mean. Cause they could have somewhere, they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. So I do want to be clear that I am not speaking selfishly as in, you know, again, discard non Scorpios, but I think the message here is more so you guys have to be better and do a better job at being selective about who you give your time, atten attention, energy, and love to. Okay. That's what that message is. And by the way, that's what's going to bring you upright. That's what's going to bring you into alignment, Scorpio. And this is weird because this is a beautiful freaking spread. But, and I don't even know, or I didn't even freaking know what these cards say or mean. Most of everything I just said to you guys was totally coming off of the dome. So let's now look at these cards and see if the universe has a different message specific to the cards that I might have missed because it is possible. Okay. You have the Knight of Swords and the Lover's card. Somebody is coming to coming rushing in to connect with you, Scorpio. I apologize, Scorpio, but the Six of Cups represents either somebody from the past, either being this lifetime or a previous lifetime. Y'all remember what I said? Everybody in the universe is from your past. Okay. Um, Six of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles. This, this to me, if it is a relationship, by the way, is the holy grail of relationships. Let me just say that it is the holy grail of relationships as I'm drawn now to the Ace of Cups. The reason why I say that is because this is Scorpio's unconditional love right here. That Six of Cups, it represents nostalgia, the good old days. Y'all remember a time where you could just love and not had to worry about getting your heart dug out of your chest, right? It represents love at a very innocent, from a very innocent place, okay? This on top of that is reliable, secure, right? Somebody who is going to be in place, love that also comes with integrity, right? Honesty, worthiness, these two together. Oh my goodness. It's the return of the love you used to know that reliable love. Remember I talked to you guys recently about, Hey, is anybody still holding hands? Right? It's kind of like that old school back in the day, like when we was younger and ain't have to worry about coronavirus. First of all, let's just kind of pause for a minute. Do y'all remember life before coronavirus? All right. It seems so long ago, right? But this kind of feels like that as well. 
this almost Scorpio, the six of cups and the queen of pentacles really does feel like to me, the love that you've been asking for and the love that you're used to, right? Whatever that means to you coming home, having a person kiss you, y'all having some hot, nasty, sweaty sex, then watching old episodes of Seinfeld. This right here is that. Okay. Moving on. This is renewal. I just heard renewal. This is crazy because angels just said to me, Scorpio, not only do you shed your skin, as in you go from Phoenix to Scorpion, to eagle, to phoenix, to serpent, right? That's Scorpio's kind of cycles, right? But guess what? You also shed old, excuse me, your heart also goes through transformation as well. Getting rid of all of the pain, the trauma, your heel, going from being behind those ironclad defenses to blossoming and opening up, okay? This is crazy because I've, I've never really looked at it like this. And my angels just said, Hmm, you just learned something about yourself. Didn't you? All right. Who, whose auntie's whose auntie is that? Okay. And with the seven of pentacles now, seven of pentacles. Yes. It does mean, you know, to an extent focusing on one thing for long periods of time, but on the positive side, right? You see those beautiful pentacles. Seven of Pentacles also represents being mature. Okay. These two together is matured love. These two together is love that you can rely on, right? Love that you can plan for, that you can plan with. Though now, by the way, if I do have any cross watchers watching, I think one of the <laughs> one of the many things that turns Scorpio off. No, but one of the, I think one of the biggest things that turns Scorpios off is predictability, right? Like be an enigma to Scorpio, be this beautiful puzzle that we have to constantly, you know, kind of unravel you and figure you out. I mean, you would keep a Scorpio forever if, if you were to an extent mysterious because we do mystery like nobody else. We are the investigators of the Zodiac, Okay. We don't like predictability, okay? We do love a routine, but every now and then you gotta blow up something or something, like there's gotta be a break in the monotony, okay? But predictability, we don't like. But Scorpio does like predictability and consistency and love, okay? So yes, be unpre not unpredictable because then that sounds random, but be predictable in love, right? Be mature in love. Be reliable. Oh, shit. Be reliable in love. That's what these two cards are saying to me. You got the three of pentacles and the nine of cups. This is spreading love and joy. Nine of cups represents a wish fulfillment. Okay. Excuse me. An emotional fulfillment. Okay. Um, emotional wish fulfillment. Same shit. Right. And then the three of pentacles is coming together coming together and being happy and joyous. Three of pentacles also represents a certain expertise too. So this is funny because the message came up here, but it's also coming up here again. Scorpio, you've learned a lot of lessons about you, your head. Now the universe is taking you to school with your heart and for your heart. So the three of pentacles says to me, keep it light, Scorpio, right? As in like-minded people, like-hearted people as well. Three of Pentacles also says to me that you guys learned a lot or will learn a lot from other depictions of love. You know, seeing how I was in the park, what was it, last weekend? And it was so fucking amazing. It was one of the best days on the planet. It was in a park, there was a gazebo, there was water, there were ducks, geese, beautiful. And I was just sitting there because I decided to get out the house, but I didn't want to interact with people. So I went to this park and I just sat there and I just watched the water, Scorpio, water sign, love water. And there was this older couple and they came walking and they had their, it was the older couple, man and woman, and they had their two dogs. I don't know if they were male or female, but it was like each person in the couple had their own dog. 
And I greeted them. Hey, y'all, how you doing? Right? And then another older couple came by me. And it was an older gentleman. And he was holding his wife's hand. And I was like, see? People still hold hands. I was like, I want that. Right? And they just walked past me and I greeted them. Hey, how you doing? And then after that, there was another older couple. And this time they were separated, but they were walking in sync. Like they were exploring. And three couples within, what, five minutes walked past me as I was sitting on this bench in the park. And the only thing that I can think about was God and angels and universe saying to me, Alex, see, it still exists, right? That long-term love that when you're 90, right? Because many of you who've read, read with me, I always say to you guys, what would your 90 year old self want you to do? And I feel like that was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful three couples, right? Beautiful sign from the universe and saying, Alex, it's still out there, right? It's real. Okay. So I share that message with you, Scorpio, and that Scorpio is still out there and it's real. Okay. But again, it's going to require for you to leave that mental space and move into a space of connecting, maybe connecting with our conscious reality, right? Because you know, you guys know, like I know, Scorpio lives in their sub- subconscious space. Shouldn't be anything new. I mentioned it, mentioned it before. Scorpio, when you're in your head, excuse me, I'm so sure many of you guys are not even on the planet. Most of you guys are not even in real time. A lot of you guys are in the past. Hell, some of you guys are in the future. Okay. Some of you guys are trying to get to Mars and Venus. Let's just keep it real. Okay. So it's almost like as you are in your head, it's almost like you're robbing yourself from the reality of now. Okay. So it's almost like you're missing it. You know what I mean? So. And they also just said to me too. Um, because, oh God, this is so technical. They're saying to me that head, right? Y'all know the swords are the air signs. So head represents air, meaning you're not on earth level. The cups in the tarot represent emotion, water. Where is all of the water on the planet? Right grounded on the earth, right? So when you are in your emotional space, you're more grounded, you're more in your body. And Scorpio, I wonder if that's also very uncomfortable for you, right? Because I wonder if Scorpio, let's keep it real. We try to run from our humanness. Come on, come on, Scorpio, come on. For anybody who can feel me on that point there, hit me up in the comments. Scorpio, y'all know there are times y'all are like, oh, humans, <laughs> Scorpio, I can't. sometimes, for, especially those of you who are vibrating higher, you're like back in this human shit today, right? Let's keep, <laughs> let's keep it real. So when you're in your head, you feel less human, you feel more comfortable, but your human side stresses out because it's like, Scorpio, I can't get up there. I'm not an eagle. I'm just a person. But now moving back into your heart space, that emotional space, you become more grounded. Now your head is bitching like, when we leaving, <laughs> right? So just like a little tidbit there, Scorpio, again, more like, um, technical lessons there about your dynamism. I always struggle to say that word. Yeah. How dynamic you are in that, you know, you may think, okay, Scorpio is just, you know, we just swing wildly from one extreme to the other and we're so intense. So we go to our light side at like 159 miles an hour. We go to our dark side at like 157 and a half. Right. And we don't know middle. Okay. But what you guys probably never realized is where light exists in your head. Remember we talked about Scorpio being an air sign better than most air signs, but
But Scorpio, your element is water, meaning grounded, earthly, like connected. Not only that, but, you know, Scorpio is also re represented by the death card. And, and the water on the planet is the reason why there are humans. Okay. And I don't do religion. I do facts. I do science. Okay. I do data. Okay. So I had no offense to anybody who's religious, but that's just my point of view. That's all. If you disagree with it, that's okay. But anyway, I just kind of feel like for you, Scorpio, you're learning about yourself, right? Yeah, scorpion, sex, you know, smoldering, mysterious, secretive, blunt. But Scorpio, dynamic. Add that to your resume, babies. Dynamic, right? You guys are the kings and queens of shape-shifting. You swing wildly from one energy to another that, yes, the average human cannot keep up with it. And truth be told, Scorpio, yeah, you're kind of partially human, we'll call that. You're probably like 90% spiritual and 10% human. And the 10% you have to sp spend in your human space pisses you the fuck off. Okay, I'm sorry. There's no other way to say that. Find me another adjective or whatever or verb or, or whatever that, that means fucking maybe I'll use it. But <laughs> anyway... So we were going through and we were talking about here and here and here. So we had the three of pentacles with the nine of cups, right? Um, socializing, um, being out, finding your tribe. This three of pentacles is you finding your tribe. And the 10 of pentacles is a deep investment and huge payout. That's your jackpot. It feels like an energetic jackpot. Not only that, but ladies and gentlemen, y'all know how I feel about this page of wands. He's not my greatest, not the card I love the most, but I'm going to take on the embodiment of this page of wands right here and right now, because I feel like I am the messenger that's re-sparking your light. That doesn't sound good, angels, re-sparking their light. Y'all know what I mean, reigniting. Let's go with that one, right? The page of wands, you get excited. Right. I'm excited. Oh, shit, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Scorpio. Not only that, but we bring you back into alignment and we stop with the upheaval. And yes, this video is coming out Saturday because Scorpio, I cannot hold it. Y'all know y'all spoiled anyway. I'll just be giving y'all free. If I could read for y'all in my sleep, I sure as hell would. I mean, sometimes I have. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the, the signs that we have here is Gemini. This is Capricorn as the queen of pentacles. Um, holy hell. And we got Pisces here. So you got duality on the table. Well, this was a reading about duality, right? This was a reading about your light side, your dark side, your mental, your emotional, physical and sexual. Good Jesus. That would be a triple X rated uh, reading that day. If we ever got to the sexual and physical, I should do us. Oh, yes, Scorpio. I am going to do... A sexual reading for Scorpio. Ooh, gee, I'm getting hot. Lord, where's Nelly at? It is hot in here. Yes, Nelly. Um, let me see what Angel Answers has. I promise y'all, it is hot. Okay, wait a minute. I got my handy dandy fan next to me. Y'all hear it, right? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do a uh, and not an X-rated. Not it's not gonna be anything vulgar or anything like that. But I get into your head. I get into your heart. I ain't going to say it that way, but we're going to have a discussion about you physically and you sexually at some point, Scorpio. I don't know when. I got to wait for my angels to pretty much give me a sign. Somebody said, do it now, Alex. Now. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. I love this message for you, Scorpio, because what I just heard when I saw it is it's coming. Um, this is funny because what's today? Today is October 1st. That's when I'm recording this video. It's Friday evening and it is 1104 PM Eastern time. I feel like it's coming. It's coming. And this feels like a bolt of lightning. I know that there are a boatload of planets in retrograde, especially Mercury, right? Um, but I don't feel like, again, we talked about it. It's not really Mercury. That's making a lot of you guys feel stuck. It's that you're in your 12th house. And Mercury is in retrograde. So it's like you ran out of gas and you got a flat tire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unlikely. 
what I was just going to say was listen to your intuition, because I feel like right now, a lot of you guys are, you feel it, right? You feel it bubbling. You feel yourself like getting ready. You feel the contractions, right? But then you say, well, Scorpio season is not until October 23rd. That doesn't mean anything, right? Because you guys have to always remember, please always remember dates to us humans are just measurements. So October 23rd is not a correct representation as to what's going on in the cosmos. Okay. Or going on in the universe. So when I say bubbling, bubbling, you know, uh, Scorpio season starts on October 23rd. Please don't ever think that your rebirth or your birth has to happen on October 23rd. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, you feel it bubbling, right? You feel some sort of change. You feel something percolating. And yeah, if you do, go ahead and update the comments too. I want to know if anybody else feels like something is bubbling at the core, kind of like a volcano, but less deadly. Okay. And shout out to everybody in La Palma. Um, I know that volcano has been erupting for a while. Not only that, but if they say a part of that volcano crashes into the sea, it's going to cause a tsunami that extends to the eastern seaboard. Um, it doesn't feel catastrophic or anything like that, but they're still, you know, calculating or whatever. But that's if part of the um, mountain or whatever slides into the sea. Not only that, but I've also been working with God Angels Universe to make sure it stays put. Because <laughs> no. Anyway, unlikely. What is unlikely? Oh, angels are saying, don't jump the gun. That's what that was. That's why I went into that long spiel about, um, um, Scorpio season and birthing and percolating because the unlikely was don't jump the gun, right? The unlikely means don't take this video and then go clear your bank account and then put, you know what I mean? As in, don't be drastic, Scorpio. You're still in your incubation period. So chill it on out, babies, but it's coming. And you see how they came shouting out of me. And just as I said that this situ this card came out, this situation will improve. Lord Jesus, you always in my readings, God, and I love you for it. Forgiveness. Angels are saying that has to do with clearing away any residual healing that you guys have not done. You're supposed to. Jesus, God, am I at 37 minutes? Yeah, you guys were in this stuck state for a reason. So you can learn so you can mature, right? So you can allow things to ripen and learn what you need to learn and go through the lessons of life that you need to go through. Don't jump the gun and try to pop your ass off that tree pr prematurely. Okay. Moonology. <laughs> what do you need to release? I prom I can't make this up. I said, don't, don't jump off the tree. You know, s still heal. Like don't, <laughs> don't be like, yeah, I'm back bitches. Not yet, Scorpio. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, you're very close to achieving your goal. I just want to cry right now just because of how much I love God, because that's why I pull these cards at the end, because it they usually confirm the reading. God, you are just so. Ooh -wee. Lord, I love me some you. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Scorpio, I got to go. I can't with y'all. Prosperity lies ahead. You see what I'm saying? Every time, Scorpio, every time the universe drags you through it, it hits you with a pot of gold in the end. I, got, I can't with you, Scorpio. Listen, yeah, if it resonates, like, subscribe, give a sister a high five, talk to each other, talk amongst yourself because we are a tribe. We are a Scorpio in one body, one nation. If you want a reading, the contact details are in the, the, what the heck, where the hell are they? The about section, Alex, of my um, channel. Scorpio, I'm freaking proud of you. And again, the universe showed up again. Pentacle, 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 pentacle. Okay. Only two major arcanas are sitting here. Only two. So Scorpio, the rest of this reading, baby, is about you. Angels just said, talk about these two cards because they, it's, they appear to be a little controversial or chaotic or what have you. And again, I feel like this is the rushing in, right? A lot of you guys from watching this video is like, Ding! your heart is ready. It's like, okay, I'm ready. Right. But for a lot of you guys, they may, you may be sitting up there talking about, oh, 
she good and all, but I don't know, right? So the the five of wands to me could also represent just that little leftover resistance, right? But I am such I I am such a student and a believer in this universe, Scorpio. I know that even in your resistance, the universe is still going to bring this tribe and it's going to bring somebody for, for you to connect to. And this is going to feel like that. Oh, good old, good old love. Right. And it's going to cause you to open up your heart. You've learned so, so, so very much. And when you open your heart, you this time are going to connect with your people like-minded, like-hearted, like-body, like-spirited people. And I do want to be a part of that as well. Okay. Scorpio, I love did you very much. Not love. I past tense love you. I love you already. And I love you tomorrow and next meet, next week, next month, next year, next lifetime, next universe, baby. All right, Scorpio, I'm out.